Well, good morning friends. I am sharing a Saturday with you today. I don't often share Saturdays, but I have some meals to prep for potluck tomorrow and guests coming over. I want to do a little Valentine's Day stuff with the girls, making some cookies. We already made a few Valentines to give away, but we might do a few more. And then just some daily living. Our bathroom is being renoed right now. My husband's been working on that on weekends when he can, evenings after work. So we'll have to share an update on that with you. We've got laundry going, we've had our breakfast all cleaned up. It's about like 8.35 right now. Dressed and ready for the day to be in the kitchen. And yeah, we're gonna just take it along today. It's supposed to finally be in the 30s. So much better than like that negative 10 to 30 wind chill that we've had the last five days or so. So that's my plan for today to bring you along with what this Saturday brings. So I also have to practice for worship with Blaze because we lead worship tomorrow too. So our Sunday tomorrow is crazy busy full, but it'll be okay. <laughs> and it's just a day to praise the Lord tomorrow. And so I'm gonna prep a lot today to get all that done so I don't have to be so stressed tomorrow. All right, so I just had the sauerkraut mixing. It's gonna sit and marinate in its juices for about 20 more minutes. I'm gonna get the cookie dough started for our little cutout cookies that we're gonna make. I did a little other like meal prepping and freezing of some meats I needed to cut and freeze. I know I have some laundry I need to switch over as well. So it's already 10 o'clock. Time seems to fly when you're busy in the kitchen. So it's been an okay morning, not as productive as I would like, but I still have still have lots of the day left so and if not everything gets completely done it's okay okay so here's the recipe it's super simple and there it is there and then i'm gonna have you dump a little bit of this what's that way dump oh, it's sugar dump that in okay and then we need a cup of flour why? Can we mix that? Can you mix that together first? Why? That's what we need. I mix it together. Okay. Let's wait. Okay, dump that in.
All right, here's the little hearts we got, and I'm gonna bake them now. I think it's for like eight minutes. Alright, so here is what our bathroom currently looks like. We had gutted it down to the studs. That's what you call it, right? <laughs> yeah. So no vanity, no toilet. We put a new bathtub in. We got some cement board up because we'll tile it. Put some um, red guard over it, so that's why it's so red. We put a little niche in there. And then he just mudded. The third coat or second? Uh, third. Third, okay. So then it'll be sanding after it dries. Yeah, it's coming along. So thankfully we have a toilet downstairs at least that we can use. So no toilet, like I said, and vanity. I picked up the vanity yesterday, so it'll be going in after the floor goes in. So girls are attempting to nap. They're visiting with each other right now. So we'll see if they go down. It's about one. I'm going to shred my chicken apart. I'll make some broth then while I'm at it. I'm working on my enchiladas is what I'm going to do over there. So I have beef in my um, Dutch oven right now. And then I'll add some onion and the enchilada sauce and really quick and easy meal. So these two things I'll work on during nap time. And I'm making a tikka masala for tomorrow as well. So that's why I'm doing the chicken. All right, decided just to chop all my chicken. So that is ready for the tikka masala. When I get that done, the broth is going and I'll get the enchiladas made. both those done. I found these tortillas at Walmart. I usually get the raw ones from Costco, but this is more convenient right now, but I do like the first ingredient is wheat flour. Most of them say enriched bleached. So just the great value brand, pretty affordable there. And then I just always use the old El Paso enchilada sauce, mild, medium, hot, mix it. Super simple. It'll be a great meal to have tomorrow with a busy day. Well, kitchen is sort of cleaned up. I've got the dishes drying and I still have the crock pot going with, or the Insta pot going with the um, broth, but I think I'm gonna take a little break and make a coffee and sit down maybe for a little bit. I hear one girl making some noise, so could be um, end of nap time very shortly, but that was a good nap time for prepping some of that food and getting that done. And I always like to clean up as I go, so that way I don't just have a counter full 
of dishes sitting up there to be done at the end of the night. You want me to pull you? So there's just something to be said about being outside in the winter when there's finally no wind, it's 33 degrees out, there's just things to be found in winter season that are enjoyable. So I'm out walking my littlest right now actually, so just enjoying the day. the next day after church actually and my tikka masala was made and taken to our potluck we had like an ethnic food potluck so that was fun and it's now time to relax a little bit before company comes here in a couple hours girls are napping so I just thought I would actually do a little outro here since I really didn't just I did like a reset of the kitchen I have been liking putting out the napkins the plates the silverware the night before for breakfast so it's ready one last thing to do i've been putting all my dishes away just so that when i wake up in the morning come out it's less to do less um stuff to look at when i come out that way i have time to just read my bible do my morning routine and get ready for the day so i hope you enjoyed yesterday and seeing my kitchen time some time outside and just whatever i got to do in the bathroom update and we'll keep you up to date on that and i'll do of course a whole bathroom reveal for you when that gets completed so we'll be starting the tiling soon which is very exciting but hope you guys have a blessed and wonderful day and i'll talk with you in my next video Bye.